Hi everyone, good morning. It's June the 13th. Um, I'm staying at a hotel in Dilijan. And uh, I was gonna make this video last night, but I just took a shower and then I passed out. And um, I came to a, an immediate conclusion when it got here that Jordan truly fucked me up. Um, when I was here last month on my birthday in Dilijan, I was ready to sell my apartment in Gumri and buy a house in Dilijan. And after coming back from Jordan and I went back to my apartment in Gumri, it's like my natural energy is just returned to itself and all that chaos, bad energy, accumulation of karmic patterns, accumulation of um, other people in the communities around me and their bad karma and their bad actions that I took on, it removed in Jordan and family stuff. So when I was in Jordan, literally the pain of my family and everything that came with it, I took two stones that were on the floor in the desert and wadi room. I transferred that pain into those two stones and I buried it under the sand. The day after, I dropped my body well really you're floating but I dropped my body in the Dead Sea and I kid you not all of it was like even my face got cleared you know from the salt and all of it was removed so you know it wasn't mine it none of that energy was mine um, but coming back you know in the present moment in Dilijan I just feel like I can't say anything is going to be 100% because, first of all, um, legally, I can only stay with an Armenian passport in Jordan for three months, a year. Well, sorry, excuse me, pardon, let me rephrase that. Not a year, three months each because I don't have an actual visa. You know, you get a visa to get in, but I'd have to leave the border and come back in, right? Um but on that note, I'm going to let it be. I'm going to give it to the higher, to my higher self and everything around to deal with that because right now mentally I'm not ready to digest, not yet. Um, things are moving. So, I mean, if I shouldn't be really saying I'm, I'm going to be doing that or I'm going to be here or I'm going to be doing that just yet because things are shifting miraculously and it's very um, possible that this is happening for you too. Remember we just had an eclipse and the eclipses literally reset and shift and change everything. It's kind of like an arrow in, in order to, you know, the bow and arrow, it goes backwards first. Your arm is literally pulling back. So it's like you got to go backwards in order to move forward, you know? So I'm going to be doing um, an oracle reading with, with one of your, your favorite deck. And this time the camera is nice, clear, so you can see everything. Um, because a few people have been excited every time I post this or a video. This is going to be in regards to the new moon on the 18th of June. Today's the 13th, so just a few more days to go. Um... You know, guys, I just, my website went out finally, so www.thehexwitchery.com, thehexwitchery.com, um, and I've done it in a way where in order to purchase sessions with me, you got to keep, you got to inform, you got to contact me, and you got to really be aware of what kind of reading or session you want with me and I'm going to deliver the price. And if you want to do a session at a time or if you want to do a package with me, and if you have a PayPal account, I will send you my paypal.me page. If not, I'll just create a, vid a voice uh, invoice for you with PayPal and you could pay with credit card. So the intention, just setting an intention, which is clear thought, clear new energies. <clears throat> hmm. 
No cards are flying out. Usually they do. Yeah, this card loves to come out every time. Smashana, number one. Ugh, I just love the depictions. Excuse and pardon my nail polish. I'm so raw that I don't even remove my nail polish. I wait until it just all falls off on its own. So, what does this symbolize to you guys? You know, I have the mantra and prayer. This is this means timing. This is connected to Goddess Kali. This is says Kalik. And this is literally a mantra, a hymn to her that symbolizes the, the cutting of the ego, cutting of the head right at the throat, that judgments of ourselves and other people are so freaking irrelevant. So if you find that that is where you are right now or you're making judgments or sound, or if you're kind of jumping the gun and judging people, even yourself, maybe don't do it now or whatever judgments you come up with are not going to be relevant for you because you'll find that it's not coming from a place of sound <clears throat> it's not coming from an inner place of like uh, peace it's coming from a place of having to run or flee uh, fright or flight lots of stuff like that um, trauma imbalances so on and so forth so sometimes yeah we need to get out and vacation which is good for a few days or a week or a month but when you come back you'll usually find the answers and sometimes it'll be very discomforting and you won't know the answers right away but i'm pretty sure you'll sense something Bava Tarini. What does this mean to you? Oh, she's like holding up her hand. What does this mean to you? Uh, moksha, like giving out blessings, giving out good energy. Um, this is a woman who's obviously very self-aware, aware of her true nature, aware of who she is, where she's been. Maybe not necessarily where she's going in life, but when you have that self-awareness, it doesn't matter where you go, it follows you everywhere in the world. And people feel it. People can feel it. So my friend that I went to Jordan with, that we're like really, we're actually pretty good friends now. Um, the one that we got, we were in the taxi with, and um, the one we were in the taxi with, the one where I didn't let her get like abandoned, and I was waiting for her, and then we took a taxi, and we almost got kidnapped. Um, she's coming to my house this month, so she's gonna be giving me some tattoos. Um, Gonna be interesting. God damn this card again. You know, I tried not looking at this. It's it's basically saying there is a continuation going on. So last yesterday morning or afternoon, I want to say yesterday afternoon, I started feeling the back side of my lower back aching out of nowhere. Um, and everything is subtle energy, at least for me, because I'm such an empath. Like I feel everything from other people that it affects my body. And I can tell what's coming from me and what's not, right? But usually my body will say rest. You got to rest in order for other people's gunk to get out of my system. Which is why I need a lot of like alone time and restoration. Um, it causes issues with connections and relationships. But people who accept me and understand me or are willing to um, will get that. And you may find that maybe you yourself are like that. So if you're getting any aches in your body... 
can you just listen to it please because usually it's much more than just literal physical ache there's an underlying meaning or a reason as to why there's an ache there so obviously this is according this is the full moon this is an eclipse uh, when I was pulling out the first card this came out looking right next to it but I didn't pull it out as you can see the ohm symbols one of the girls I have an ohm ring but I didn't wear it to the trip in Jordan um, one of the girls that I was in, taking photos with in Petra um, she was wearing an ohm ring and it was during the eclipse right so pay attention to the subtle signs around you because we're we're creating right now well we're always creating but omens is, is the sound of creation it's the first sound of creation so you created something during the eclipse and it's because you created it it's trying to come to fruition but it's playing out in its own time frame can you guys recall what intentions you had whether you wrote it down whether you thought it whether you felt it whether you expressed it or not <clears throat> be in that awareness that you did create something the ethers and the energies did pick up on something it's like the same cards keep coming out Kama of Kali <clears throat> So the lotus is usually symbolic and it's pink. So this is coming from a place of love and compassion and understanding. Um, it's corresponding to sweetness. It's perception of understanding, perception of when we look at other people, we're looking at something, we're liking something about ourselves or a potential within ourselves that's there, lying doormat. That's why we like it. That's why we're attracted to it. So the heart chakra is all about that. Green and pink is the heart energies, right? Very much green and pink. Um, consciousness and self-awareness. I just feel like this is the main messages that are coming. So probably a lot of stuff that happened this past week or this past eclipse or this past month, because I'm forgetting that the eclipse was almost a month ago. We had an eclipse early May in Scorpio. We had a full moon, new moon eclipse in Scorpio, May the 5th or the 4th <clears throat> or the 6th around that time frame. Then we had a full moon eclipse when I was vomiting. Um, and that was in Taurus and I'm a Taurus. Um, so eclipses are huge for resets. Huge. Huge for resets. <clears throat> Matangi. This card is very interesting because in her right hand she's got a scepter. I think it's called a scepter. And in her left hand she has a green bird. How fascinating. So it's like, and then she's got another left hand with the ohm symbol. Because she's got multiple hands here, right? But look at her eyes, how fierce it is. And I just feel like there's so much more to you than meets the eye. There's so much more to you than you're wanting to admit. Um, there's so much more to you that your life is trying to get out of you, that your life is trying to nudge you on the back and the front in every way, shape, or form. You're seeing signs. You're seeing synchronicities. You're meeting people who are similar. Pay attention to what others are saying to you at this time too because they could be saying similar things to you and you're either bypassing it or you are hearing it and you're like, but not, you know, um, especially if it keeps coming up and happening. Unfortunately, I don't have the freaking booklet for this. This was gifted for me for free, basically, this deck, so it doesn't come with a booklet. So I have an issue with the sun and when it gets too humid, like you see what happens to me? That's why another reason why I got felt horrible because I'm not a sun person. I mean, I'm much better balanced 
and cool like atmospheres. Not cold, but cool. <coughs> and seasons. It's just the pita within me. I'm just, my body's made up of fire, so too much of fire ain't. Anything that's out of balance or pushes someone to be out of balance isn't good. <clears throat> like, I'm so, like, not even wanting to have coffee anymore because at least cut back because I'm just so, you know, from heat, anything that's making me... Okay, what else is coming through? Maybe I'll just pull out one more card. Ah, beautiful. Kaladara. This cooling stuff makes me feel so much better. You see that? There's a power here. There's a message here. This kind of reminds me of the High Priestess, this card. Yeah. Her with all the planets. Maybe you're into astrology. Maybe you look to it. Maybe you're into astronomy. Maybe you're into energies and quantum physics like I am. Maybe you're into Kali. Whatever it is, connect and align yourself to your true calling. So I just feel like. I think from all the cards, this one is speaking to me personally the most. Um, especially right now. But anyways, I understood what it means for me and I'm going to keep it to myself. But I want you to tune into this card and I really want you to align yourself with the energies of this card and let it speak to you because it wants to tell you something. You know, the traditional tarot of the High Priestess is usually about inner knowing, trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. So right now I'm asking you, I'm calling you to trust your instincts and your intuition because you know best. There's a purpose. There's a calling. There's a destination for you waiting. But it's going to play out in its own time. There's no need to push. There's no need to force. It's just going to, it's going to happen in its own time. Okay, guys, that's all I'm going to do for this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Look at my eyes. It kind of looks green right now. My eyes change a lot, so from green to blue to gray. So enjoy the rest of the month of June. And I don't know if I'll be making another video soon, but I'll try to do it once a week. If not, whatever floats the boat. So yeah, take care. And again, the last message is allow yourself to feel the energies of this card and really be aware, self-aware, meditate on it. Ask yourself questions. Where am I going today? Who am I right now? How am I feeling right now? What does that make me feel when you think of the person, place, or thing? Um, was that energy, pain, trauma, mine? If it wasn't, or if it was, what made me feel that way? What triggered me to feel that way? What can I do to release that? The answers will come to you, okay? They will come. So thank you for watching. Bye.